Today, I'm going to review with you how to do your assignments and guide you in some questions to help you understand it better. So to begin, uh, okay. So to begin, today is uh, May 13th, Wednesday. We will have a spirit Zoom day. So that means you dress up in sports gear. You can dress up uh, in your, uh, your own jerseys or the jerseys of your favorite team. All right. So that's going to be from 9 to 10, and it's going to be for reading and math. So the assignment for ELA is going to be to read the StoryWorks Junior Debate is Fortnite Okay for Kids. You're going to answer the what do you think on your student portfolio. You're going to respond uh, to those questions to a video. Uh, and today's going to be a little bit different. You're going to do a little quiz on Google Forms. So I will go over that. Now, because you have that quiz, you do not have to reply to two classmates. But if you want to, that is still an option for you. So that's why it's down here, it's optional, okay? So let's begin. So I'm going to exit this and make this larger. So the debate today is, is Fortnite okay for kids? So before even reading it, what do you think is the topic of this debate? Okay. So what are two opinions you think that people might have about this? I want you to read this two times. This is not an article. This instead is a letter from a girl named Hannah to her parents, and then a letter from her parents back to Hannah, okay? Hannah has an opinion and her parents have an opinion. What I need you to do is to, once you're done reading it twice, use the highlight feature and choose the color for um, each opinion. So Hannah is gonna have her own opinion than her parents. You're gonna have two different colors, okay? Now, once you highlight the evidence to support their opinion, think about who has the stronger evidence to support their opinion and why. Why is that evidence stronger? Then I want you to ask yourself, what do you think? What is your opinion? Is Fortnite okay for kids? As a kid, do you think it's okay? Do you think it is violent? Do you think it's, um, it teaches you things? Do you play Fortnite? Those are all things that I would like for you to share when you do your Flipgrid uh, video. All right, so let's exit. Now, the second thing that you need to do is this, okay? What do you think? So after reading the article, is Fortnite okay for kids? Um, you can use this to guide your thinking. Now, like I said before, you do not need to print it. Um, if you want to print it, you can, if you have that option. Okay, what are the three reasons that yes, some people will use that Fortnite is okay for kids? And what are the three reasons that uh, parents and kids will use to say that Fortnite is not okay for kids. And then last but not least, write your opinion on the bottom. Now, the way that you're going to write it over here, okay, so type your response. Yes, Fortnite is okay for kids. What are those three pieces of evidence that people use? And why is Fortnite, Fortnite not okay for kids? What are three pieces of evidence people use? And then give your opinion. Once you're done there, you'll come to Flipgrid, and then you post a little, um, a little response, okay? Giving me your opinion and your reasons why. You don't have to say yes and no. You just have to say which one you believe and why. When you're done there, you're going to take a short quiz, okay? So you write your name, the date, and then here you can take this quiz, okay? Once you're done with the quiz, you can click submit and you're done. 